Hello and welcome back. In this video, we will look at the different methods for setting up a Next.js project. First, we'll have a look at the manual way of setting up the project. Then, I will show you the automatic method, which is the method that I recommend. We will also have a look at the folder structure, as well as some extensions for VS Code that will simplify your workflow. First, let's have a look at the prerequisites. If we have a look at the Next.js documentation, it is recommended to have Node.js version 14 or later installed on your system. However, for the newer Next version 13 features, it is recommended to have Node version 16.8 or later installed. To install Node, go to nodejs.org and I recommend installing the LTS version of Node. In order to manually set up a Next.js project, we need to open up a new project folder. We can then open up the terminal either by pressing Ctrl and tilde, or we can go to Terminal and then click on New Terminal. In the terminal, enter the following command. We'll run npm install next at latest. We also need to install the latest version of React as well as React DOM. We'll also install the latest version of eslint-config-next and press enter to install these packages. After installing these packages, you will notice a few files have been added to our folder. The node modules folder contains all the installed packages and we also have this package.json file. And in the JSON file, we can see the dependencies or the packages that we just installed. In order to execute and build the project, we need to add a few more scripts to this file. So above dependencies, I'll add a new property called scripts. So within the scripts tag, we can add our scripts. So what we need is a script called dev, which will execute the command next dev. We will also add a build script, which will compile our project for production. We will add a start script, which will start our application in a production environment. This is optional, but we'll also add a script for lint. Then in the root of our folder, we need to create a new file called next.config.js. First, we need to create a variable for the next config. So I'll just call this variable next config, which is an object. And because we want to use the new app folder that was released as part of next 13, I will add a property called experimental with an app there property of true. We then need to export this config module by calling module.exports and we'll export the next config object. We can then close this config file and we now need to create this app folder. So I'll create a new folder in the root called app and within the app folder we need to create two files. First we'll create a page.js file. This will be the component that gets rendered when we access the home page of our application. We also need to create a layout.js file. In the layout.js file, we can provide a standard layout for our application. First, we will create a new function called root layout and we will export that function as default. Then within curly brackets, we will pass in a property called children. This layout file will wrap the contents of our application and these contents are called children. And what will return is the HTML content of our file. So we'll simply specify some very basic HTML tags with the HTML body and within the body, we'll wrap the children property. We can then save this file. This means that whatever content we render out in the page.js file will be rendered out in this body tag. So let's go back to the page.js file and within this file, we'll create a new function called page and we will export this function as a default function and what we'll return is an h1 tag with the text hello next.js. Now that we have a layout for our application, albeit very basic, and we have some content that we're writing out, we can now start our development server. We can do this in the terminal by running npm run dev. In the terminal, you will notice this URL to your development server. We can now open up localhost 3000 and view our application. After opening up localhost 3000, we can see the contents pulling through. It's also important to note that if we make changes to our application, the changes are reflected immediately on the page. So in our page.js file, let's change this to hello world and save. You'll notice at the moment we save, the changes are effected immediately on the application. So if we wanted to add more pages to our application, say for example, we wanted to have a route called about, if we try and execute this now, we'll get a 404 error. 
So to create this about route, we can create a new folder in the app directory called about. Then within the about folder, we can create a page.js file. We can then create a new function called page. And this function will then return some HTML. As an example, let's return another h1 with the text about. We also need to export this function as a default function. So after saving this, and refreshing the application, we can see the about page pulling through. So let's try this again. Let's go to localhost 3000 about. Great, that was the manual installation method for Next.js. Next, let me show you the quickest and recommended way of setting up Next.js projects. In your editor, open up the terminal and enter the following, npx create-next-app at latest. You will now be asked a few questions about your project. Okay, to proceed, press Y. What is your project name? Here you have two options. Either you can enter a name for your project, which will create a subfolder within this directory with the app name. Or if you want to set up the project in this current directory, you can simply press period. You will now be asked if you want to use TypeScript with your project. For this example, I will choose no. Would you like to use ESLint with your project? I will choose no. Would you like to use the source directory with this project? The source directory is an alternative to the pages directory that you get with Next 12. With Next 13, we will use the app directory. So I will say no. Would you like to use the experimental app directory? By the time you watch this video, the app directory might be standard and no longer experimental. Either way, I will say yes. Import aliases, I'll just press enter. All the files and dependencies will now be installed. The automatic setup process is now complete. We now have an app directory with an example application. The page file contains the content for the main page of our project. The layout file contains the general HTML layout of our project, as well as some metadata, like the title of the pages and a description. We also have a globals.css file for styling our application. We'll have a look at styling in the next video. We also have this API folder. Within the API folder, you are able to create your own API endpoints for your project, but we'll cover that in the API section of the series. The node modules folder contains all the installed packages for this project. You don't have to make any changes in this folder. The public folder contains any static assets like images. We also have a git ignore file, which can be used to ignore certain files that should not be deployed to production. In order to start our project, we can run the following command in the terminal, npm run dev. In the terminal, you will now see a link to the dev server. Let's copy this and open it up in our browser. In our browser, we can now see the sample application that we got by automatically installing Next.js. We can make changes to this template by going to the app folder and opening up the page file. Let's change this text over here. Let's simply rename this to something like Hello World. After saving this change, the change that we made will immediately reflect on the application. We are now ready to work on our Next.js applications. One bonus tip, I highly recommend installing the following extension, especially if you're using VS Code. Look for this extension called ES7 Plus, React Redux React Native. This will give you some syntax highlighting and auto-completion for your Next.js project. You now know how to set up a Next.js project, both manually and using the automatic method. Thank you for watching. Please consider subscribing to my channel, and I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Bye-bye.